we are at Maastricht Pavilion, a Croatian uh, art society, where I'm uh, showing my eight uh, new paintings. The title of the exhibition is Imprint of Sound. The process of creation of these paintings uh, has three stages. The first one is the layering of the uh, powder uh, pigment toner on the surface of uh, the aluminium plate. Uh, the second uh, stage is exposing pigment to uh, sound vibrations. For that, I'm using feedback loop uh, that I control through directional microphone by changing the vicinity of the microphone to the speakers. The plates itself are searching for their resonant frequencies. You could say that it creates a work that comes from itself, from the medium itself. Third aspect of the process is the fixating of this toner and the imprint by using a quartz tube. Uh, the quartz tube has a, a, a right temperature to melt it, to fixate it into the aluminium surface and normally uh, quartz tubes are used exactly for this purpose in the laser printers. I'm sometimes calling this analog laser printer uh, that prints sound. All paintings that uh, are in this exhibition are site-specific. Um, they are created by the, the reflection of the sound in this space. Space by itself, because of the circular character, has a very distinct acoustics and a lot of reflections. Um, you could say that the paintings are the uh, imprint of this space. In my practice, I'm trying to reveal hidden structures and develop methods how to make them visible, how to put a focus on things that are beyond of our perception. Even though we can't see it, it doesn't mean it's not there. We are part of larger structures and certain principles uh, that surround us uh, don't really function in an experiential way, in a way how we are used in ways that normally things that surround us behave. There are different layers on the micro and macro scales that I'm interested in. <laughs> 